your attention, please. Now, I'd like you all to line up nice and calmly, single file. Now, when I say single file... Get up, Jeffrey. Silence, please. Sit down, ladies. Down, gentlemen. Thank you. Don't throw each other out the window. Hurry up, Oscar. Walk, don't eat. Right. Now. I know that you are all looking forward to a fantastic time at Camp Desolation. Isn't that right, Barry? This could be one of the most rewarding experiences of your lives. Now, at our camp this year, our theme is harmony. Repeat after me. Harmony. Harmony. Oh. Honesty. 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 And blind obedience. Please remember this and practice it. Also remember that the camp is surrounded by many excellent places to hide bodies. Thank you. Head count. That's when it hit me. Alice and Ashley wasn't on the bus. Who's missing? When that time walk out, you better be ready. When that time walk out, you better be away. Okay, ready to leave now. So hold on, and, and I'm just in jail. Bob, how much longer will it take? Well, I will try and finish as soon as possible. Well, I hope so. I how much longer Jeff can keep the little ones amused. Okay. Bob's buzzing. Miss Belmont and Buzzy Bob finally went for help. They'd been gone for hours, even though the nearest town was only two kilometers away. And left us in Mr. Kennard's capable hands. I decided to spend the time casting my Romeo, but things looked bleak. They were all such repulsive options. At least Barry Hollis was a tall, repulsive option. And there was no other choice for Juliet, was there? When that time walk out, you better be ready. When that time walk out, you better be away. Nothing else to do and nothing else to say and nothing else to be the judge of your feet. Hey, hey, everybody up in a nice orderly fashion. Now that's not orderly, is it? Hey, I'm going to get the baggage for just stay calm, you guys. Everything organised in a moment. Hey, Bob. Bob, you Jim. Bob. attention until your cabins are assigned. The layout is as follows. The boys' cabins are to the left, the girls' cabins to the right, 
Sharblock Dining Hall, Rec Hall. Cabins R. Viva Sarah Lavinia, Cabin 10. Yes, Erica Allison yes, Marjan, Cabin 12. Yes, Crystal Nicole yes, Vicky, yes, Cabin 5. I don't know how I ended up sharing a cabin with you. Look at my face, I'm absolutely thrilled. Does anyone else have a problem with wind in the morning? <sighs> See, I suffer from a very delicate stomach. And severe allergies, so I can't eat processed meats. Okay, well then you'll have to let the cooks know in the morning what you can and can't have. Now, have you brought anything from home for tonight? Yes, Miss. Okay. But, um, do you mind if I have you in the cabin? Because I, I kind of feel strange in front of the others. Yes, that's fine. But only for tonight. Okay, thanks. Hmm. Why hadn't I thought of that? Hurry up, Erica. drama night and she'd like to have a few words to you. Thank you, Miss Belmont. Now, as you know, 9C, you've been chosen to put on the play at Camp Drama Night. But this year, it's going to be different. Poor old Romeo and Juliet's been done to death. So, you'll be writing your own original Ms. master. Miss Romeo and Juliet has a long and respected tradition at, at Camp Drama Night. And, well, I think especially in these troubled times, we have to respect that tradition. So, first thing tomorrow, you'll be finding ideas for your... But I've learned every line in Romeo and Juliet. It's a classic. <laughs> Erica. Give it up, Gherkin. No one wants to see you prancing around on stage. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. You so want me. All right then, please, settle. That's enough. I want it out. I considered faking a gallstone attack, but I couldn't remember which side my gallbladder was on. You shut up about it. You liar. Dinner over already? No. This camp's over for me. Miss Lattimore's sick of Romeo and Juliet, so we're not doing it. So what? So what? They're preparing to play Juliet all year. My mum's expecting. All the parents are coming. Mum won't. Yes, well, not everything's just about you, is it? You know I got that allergy thing from you. What are you talking about? Faking it. Faking it? Shame on you. For some of us, allergies are life-threatening. Good night. Shut up! Wake up, it's an emergency. Erk, what is it? You haven't been bitten by something, have you? No, it's, it's not a physical emergency as such. It's more an emotional emergency. An emotional I... emergency? Yes. You won't believe the way that these people are treating me here. You have to come and get me right now. Why? What are they doing? What's happening? Aren't they feeding you? No, it's nothing like that. It's... I thought you might be missing me, that's all. Go to sleep, Erk. And call it a decent hour next time. You know I hate answering the phone at night. It's usually the police about Belle Joy. I'm just hoping they'll have to hear my voice, that's all. I heard it this morning. Hey. Oh. Excuse me. Did you think it was that butcher? Who? You know, the butcher. Want to, uh, 
hacked up those kids here a few years ago. They ain't ever caught him yet. And he'll be back, because psychos always return to the scene of the crime. Well, you should know. Who are you ringing? Your mum? That was my boyfriend, Dwayne. Begged me to call him every night. What are you doing here? I uh, saw you sneaking out of your cabin. So I followed you. Well, you do go that extra mile to annoy, don't you, Barry? Yeah, well, it's, it's a gift. Gift? What are you doing now? Do you want to hang around? Got a lighter. So? We could burn some. I'll take that lighter, Barry. And the cigarettes. And Erica, be gone by the time I count to one. Barry Hollis! Here, Kenny! This is totally unacceptable behavior! Come on! Let's all breathe in the fresh country air. <sighs> and soak up this incredible environment until our creative juices start flowing and the muse of writing inspires us. I've got it. The story of a kid, right? And his parents are, are killed. Keep going, Tom. Let it flow. Well, he, he, he's brought up by his nasty uncle and aunt. <sighs> and his big, fat, ugly cousin. A and they make him sleep under the stairs. Until one day. Ooh. Ooh. Next. I know. How about we do this thing about this really gorgeous girl who's normal, right? Like, normal, but gorgeous. Yeah, and um, one day, she's walking through a graveyard. Yeah. And she finds out that she's, she's Buffy. Buffy, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Next. When I said something original, I meant unique and special. Uh, Buffy's special. Yeah, and so's Harry Potter. Like, they're just thinly veiled derivations of Cinderella. So, has anyone got anything? What about Yuck? I mean, we know she's got a great imagination. Are you calling me a liar, Alison Ashley? Erica, relax and tell us. Have you got something? Of course I do. Alison Ashley had thrown down the gauntlet. Well? And I was determined to show her once and for all. There's this girl. She's really talented. No exceptional. She's got two sisters. Total losers. Like one who's a complete cow and Hang the on. other one who thinks she's a bloody horse. This is a thinly veiled.